welcome back. Now, <clears throat> there's a rising trend of women whose circumstances have pushed the responsibility of providing for their families. Uh, most of these women struggle and toil to provide food on the table while their husbands, <clears throat> if they are still alive, support them. Now, the issue is, according to reports, many breadwinner, women breadwinners could increase the probability of unhappiness in the home. Now, do you agree with this? What are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 070-8066-8014. You can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so you can read your tweets. Now, <clears throat> we've treated this matter before at some sort point, of, sort of. Um, a lot of women out there today are breadwinners. And um, the truth is that men already feel, they feel um, they, 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 there's an issue of self-worthlessness. Self mm. A lot of men feel that way. But even the women most, I see, most. a lot of men feel that way. But the truth is that a lot of women actually do try to encourage. But it's not so much of the, what the women do. It's more of what the society, even the community, ordinarily the house girl, the, the, the driver, knows who's bringing home the cheese. So the way every day, there's, there's those circumstances. How does the house girl know who's bringing home ah. the cheese? Because when you want to buy pepe, eh. it's not Oga bring money, it will be Madame bring money. Eh, when you say Madame bring money, Oga could have put the money in Madame's account now. You see, no, you my house, God forbid you. that the house girl will know who, who mm. brings home the cheese. That, that, that is even out, outside the point. Eh. Um, we live in a society where it is expected that the man should be the one to pay rent, to take care of the school fees and all that. I want my husband to take care of all the bills. And if there's need, I would support. That's my job, support. But if the reverse is the case, the, you know, the, the responsibility is now on the woman to do a whole lot more. And the pressure is high because she now has to make the man feel comfortable, even though she's the one spending money. Mm. And then the society doesn't even help her out because if they hear that she's the one fulfilling the bills, they put pressure on her like, are you a fool? Mm. What's he doing? He's a lazy man. Mm. But the thing is that, I think, I think Jumake was actually driving at the, when, when, you, when you were doing like this because it's more about him. God bless because you. there's that inner thing in you that I already feel worthless. Because a lot of men who go through this, some of them have that confidence that no matter what, listen, I'm still your husband. But some ways, some men don't have that kind of confidence. They still feel worthless regardless. I was going to share an example, not relating to finance at all, of a man that I know that when he's alone in the house with his wife and she's in the kitchen, he'll go and carry a goosey and help her pluck. He'll try cut vegetables for her and everything, help her out with the kitchen duties. But once there's anyone around, he will not do anything. Because of that societal mm. pressure or um, judgment oh, yeah. of that, ah, You're she helping has... helping your wife. That, that ah, she has... She has, she has used jazz or something. Mm. Or, so the same thing. Um, if a man is not strong enough, regardless of that, it's only him and his wife who knows who is bringing home the cheese. He feels... Emma no man can be strong he, enough in that kind of situation. No. no. I'm no. telling you. No, no, listen. I mean, as, as, that been as a that woman, I, 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 think that, I think that the men who understand... It, it, it will be very difficult to make a man feel comfortable. Mm. But it's, it's, that's where the woman has a big job. If the woman can make her husband know that, no, you have money, you don't have money, I love you. Mm. It, this one that we're going to, listen, this one that we're going through is a trying time. It's a phase. But it's a phase and we will overcome it. And you continue to nurture, trust, you okay, continue to come. Ah. No, 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 I want okay. to give a personal I'm, experience. I know somebody, trust me. That, that's what I say. We all know these things. Every woman knows this thing. That support him, love him. When, when it's going on five years, I agree. after a while, trust me. I agree. Me, if it goes on I know somebody more. has been through this. Thing. She, has, she did the supportive wife for a long time. Yeah. Even that nobody in the house knew. But at some point, eventually, people will begin I to agree. Know. You know, so I've discussed it before, yes. and I was saying at the time that if he stretches for long, yes. anybody mm. will break down. Yes. Yeah, mm. I'm so, um, um, talk, well, using you as an example, you believe that you ought to support your husband. God forbid something now happens to him. You are now the one paying the rent. You are expecting that uh, eventually his you business think, will pick up. Yeah. So you now do it for five, year, five years, going mm. on 10 years. At some point, you start to wonder what's happening here mm. i have a friend in the same situation she has done it for several years now she's breaking down yeah. because it's gone on for too long yeah, so, so i agree I, I, so from that kind of situation, situation yeah one, sorry what do you do no as a, I'm, I'm saying as a woman i've been in a situation when i am the one that is broke i, I am the one that did not have money mm. and i'm the one having to ask my husband for every dime mm. i was running mad Why? i felt bad 
I did not want to have to depend on somebody for everything. I, I can't buy biscuits. I can't buy what I want to. Sanitary towels. I, I have to ha ask him. I have to become that excessively humble person. Yeah. I have to wait for him to make a decision. No man wants to be there. As a woman, if I feel that way, imagine how every man who's been brought up every day would feel. I agree. But if it's a passing thing, so, like mom, he lost his job and it's beyond him. He's trying to now maybe get another job or he wants to start a business. Every human being, I think, should realize that it's just a few months. Mm. I'm going to get back to mm. where I, I'm going I, I, to. Personally. Although, if he passes a few months, no, it can be difficult. I, I, I think that the, 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 if the, the difficulty will now be that, what kind of man did you marry? Uh -huh. mm. Because if you understand the kind of man you married, that, okay, I, mar I married a man that inside mm. him yes. is very, very... He is a man that understands my responsibility. I'm willing to work. Mm. If you married a lazy person from the beginning, you it would play out. Even though, if, yeah. even if it was a, if it was working well <laughs> and it was always lazy, it would yeah. play out. So the yeah. quality of the person, the quality of that inner man, is important. Can we go back to the example we are using mm. of Tiwa um, Balogo and mm. T-Bills? And I was going to throw the question. Pause at a second. Let me take engineer uh, engineers um, call. Engineer, will I be? Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Please go ahead. How are you guys? Very well. Fine, sir. thank you. Very happy. Um, I mean, I've done it this morning. Uh, this is my first time call. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody. Morayo, Mr. Digwe, how's right. your baby? Very good, thank you. Yeah, and uh, oh, everybody, 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 You have 30 everybody, seconds, sir. You used your 30 seconds. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Miss Fella, how are you doing today? <laughs> and my sister. I'm fine, thank you. always attacking mm -hmm. everybody. Ah, uh, that's too oh, I can't right. forget her name, right. the one on blue. I really appreciate you guys, and uh, based on the topic on the ground, mm -hmm. you see, it's so unfortunate. Mm -hmm. If uh, women are taking care of the house, it's really, really a bad thing for a man. Mm. But it's unfortunate that's the situation we find ourselves in this country. The only thing we can do is let the Spirit of God dwell in such a woman, because it's not easy for her. Mm. It's not easy for her at all. So, um, aside from that, the only thing is God's will will always take it. I Thank you very much, Engineer. Have I love, I, excuse me, I love what he has said. Yes. He's just said, because that is what the woman needs. At that point, she needs prayers and she needs the spirit Why of God. Why can't you dwell inside Why her? Why Why let me tell you something. Let After me tell praying, you. Yes. eh? Sunji had a business mm. and he was introduced to Tiwa, he was managing her. And then, ah, this is a very lucrative artist. Focus he became complacent, one. sat down on her. Now, something happens, things go wrong, he gets fired by her. So he's now, he's now lost his job. What, um, how do you want such a man to feel? How do you want him to react to the society? He wants to still live up to and buying big cars. That's, that's another yeah. face. Let that me take, let visit. me take Abasco. Abba, are you there? Hello, good morning, Mara. Good here. morning. How are you? Very well. <laughs> uh, Mara, you know, this, uh, to our service, now, two people take and turn at this issue, but something like they happen every day, every day they happen. And when a celebrity come, yeah, if you come out, people and they can be good issue. But I don't say, Sinji, what do you mean do? Maybe it's not good. Maybe mm -hmm. because I'm out of job. Mm -hmm. If you lost your job, can you be man, stand well and look for another job? Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to be because of one manager, your wife. For waiting. Huh? You get thousands of jobs outside there now. So, thank you very much. Just want to through, Okay. I want to talk but about... But for, for, for Sinji, we have to correct the fact that he's still the CEO. Of mm -hmm. that company, and I, I was told that he actually has other artists signed up, but here was his not main, as successful. But she just fired him as a manager, so he's still in charge. But obviously, his business not is not up. as lucrative as it was I when he was manager. About living up to the standard, yeah. yes. When you lose your income, we have a society. We, there's, there's this a man must get a man, woman, whatever. You must cut your coat, you must cut down. You can't earn a, a thousand naira today, and now the next day you start earning five and two hundred naira, and you want to live the life you were earning as a thousand naira, you will kill yourself. So and you but must pause. cut down. It was, was the artist in question willing to cut down. Understand? Okay, now you sacked me as a manager. Damn. I can only afford, now I'm only being paid for thousand dollars. The artist, woman will follow the head. She is the God next. God bless you. She is the next. She would follow. If a man is a man, you would get your wife so, to follow you because you would dialogue about yeah. it. You would discuss it that sweet. I'm not long. So she will not wear afford, Auntie Ayo. She, she won't wear Auntie Fumi anymore. She can move to Auntie Ayo. <laughs> no, Auntie Fumi. Yes. Because, <laughs> because the point is, I am the man and I've said that this is what I can afford. Mm. And you cannot force me to do, if our children were going to Whatever big school before, we have to down, downsize. Okay. Let me take Joy. The man needs to make that decision. Joy, are you there, please? I like you. Good morning. Oh, sorry, right. Go ahead. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Joy. Please go ahead. Yes, you, you see, I, I believe that marriage, when, when one wants to get married, just 
when a man wants to get married, let him just pray to God for a, a good woman. Mm -hmm. You see, my mother-in-law, I always say, she's an exceptional woman. You know, her husband lost his job at an early age in their marriage. You know, they have five, nine children. Mm -hmm. And my mother-in-law, they all, they, they are, her children are all graduates, courtesy of my mother-in-law, but the children never knew who was paying their school fees. Uh -huh. She would give the money to her husband, her husband would give it to the children. She bought properties, you know, where they live. She bought so many properties, but nobody knew. Who but is that not deception? Properties. No, a marriage. No, that's not deceit. It up. No, 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 they're not no. deceit. No, she's only, she, she's they, not deceiving yeah, the husband yeah, now. Finish. Yeah. Lady. Yes, Joy. Oh, sorry. Oh, she's Wait, going to say something. She's not deceiving the husband now. It's the children. She's Listen. covering it up. She's covering it up. She's covering the husband's shame. God bless mm. you. That is the job of a woman. Very Cover his right. shame. Then, in, in between the two of you, say, Oga, that's your excessive lifestyle. You Stop it. it down, because you know. I, I'm covering your shame. Don't let me explode. Because, you see, the, the question I was trying to ask before yeah. is, you know, we know that it's difficult, and but what if the man is actually a hardworking man? Uh -huh. but the business is, and, just the, and his business is just floundering. Mm. Mm. But that, and, that's okay, look at look at look at the Nigeria that we are living in today. That businesses are folding up per second per second. Mm. True, the economy is and bad. The economy is bad, mm. and then this man is not that he's he's not hardworking. He's hardworking, but he's not just making it. Then he's at that point, and then women have other ways of getting money. They are the ones that we. Go and do extra extra curricular activities. activities. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, 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 okay. I mean, I like okay. to be realistic. Okay, okay, you're right. So let, let's take a break now. When we come back, we're going to bring in uh, our guest, who's now going to help us to put this in perspective because. We, it's, not, it's, not, it's not about just gisting about this issue. It's about how do we manage our finances, especially as a woman, and when the man feels emasculated. What's the word? Emasculated. Emasculated, yeah, mm. that's the word. Stay with us, we'll bring it Welcome back. Now, planning for financial future is something a couple must come together to put together. Um, now, women actually practically face the brunt of trying to put the finan family's finances together, especially when the men in question are not making as much money as they should. Successfully, um, success successful men actually try to work with their women, but a lot of women, on the other hand, have problems managing their finances, especially when they're making more money. We have right now a financial expert, Habiba Baglo. She's a management, financial management consultant. Mm -hmm. This is Habiba Balogo. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much, ladies. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. women have a lot of problems putting money together, especially because we have our needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we have husbands who are probably not making up to the financial requirements for the family, mm -hmm. how do we as women put ourselves, our family, family finances in perspective? Mm -hmm. I actually think women are very good at managing family finances. Okay. If you go traditionally, rather than what people hear, mm. m many husbands who earn a, sh a small salary and their wives are in business, mm. bring their small salary and give it to their wife. Mm. Their wife then divides the money. Take, this one is for you. Mm. I'll manage the rest for the house, for the children, for the school fees. Mm. So our market women, our local women are very good at managing money mm. actually. Mm. The issue goes with those women in the corporate world who are earning salaries, mm. women in the civil service who are earning more money than their husbands mm. or a higher salary than their husbands with the expectation that their money is for them mm. and their husband's money it's is for, for the us. family mm. Mm -hmm. that me. that is I where that is where the challenge comes from but it's a reality that society has not caught up with mm. you know society as you, you talked about social pressure a lot that's yeah. the problem outside mm. the outside world still wants to believe that the man is the full mm. breadwinner mm. and he's looking after the wife and the woman has to cover up mm. and be doing things behind but the reality today many women are earning more than their husbands are the mm. primary breadwinner. Mm. I, I have a question. There's this um, um, story that our, our moms tell us how to manage when your husband doesn't have money, that when you earn your salary, you will give everything to your husband. You don't need that, Ulu uh -huh. this is my salary, you, as far as you are very humble. Oh yeah, she. So the man will now say, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> because you are trying to make him yes. feel yes. good. Yes. Yeah. Is that still applicable in this um, right. modern age? Or should we continue doing that to help rob our husband's ego? No, what is applicable now is simply that couples should sit down and discuss their financial arrangement between the two of them and ignore whatever anybody else Thank has to say. Mm. Thank you. That's all they should do. If the woman is, if both of them are, so we have two scenarios, sole breadwinner and double income. Mm. If you're the sole breadwinner, whether you're a man or a woman, you sit down and discuss, okay, this is your allowance. Mm -hmm. And the allowance is not just housekeeping chop money mm. it's also allowance for the woman or Chum the man to spend mm. Mm. as yep. they like yeah. 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 yeah and then this is the one for our home mm. rent school fees Ooh. other bills and so Satellite on TV. and then the rest the breadwinner keeps and there's a percentage that you can actually use for that mm. Mm. you divide it that way mm. okay. so the man, yeah the man, so let's say the, the sole breadwinner let's say it's a man mm. he earns 100 percent mm. he keeps 30 percent for himself mm. okay gives his wife 20 percent my dear this is for you mm. okay. for you for you. you and then the other 50 percent is for the household Housekeep. that's okay. what they're going to use for rent for all for all bills mm. now if it's double income mm. and i have situations where is an oil man who works in oil and gas mm -hmm. earning a big salary mm. but his wife who works in other multinational earns even more ah mm. i like and that, that kind of house and that so that one is not even a case of a man not earning and his wife earning mm. more it's simply that ah you are yeah, earning more than me why are you forcing me to pay the all the bills yeah. Yeah. Why don't you bring some of your yeah. money? And that's a reality. Mm -hmm. So in situations like that, they sit down together and say, let's have a joint account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I earn more than you. So mm -hmm. I will put 40% inside that joint account. You earn li less than me. I, you will put 10% inside mm -hmm. that joint account, mm -hmm. making 50%. Even if it is a woman. It doesn't matter who. You discuss, you agree yeah. between it's the two of, of you. you. That, and is then I that is love. Then I, the man, yeah. mm -hmm. I keep 30% of my income for myself. I don't want to expect, not all my money can be family's money now. Some of mm -hmm. it must be my own. Am I not the person working for it? Let me give an example. Yeah. Um, Habiba, because when my husband was earning regular, regular salary, both of us, mm -hmm. we, that one, I, I was in charge of the finances, 100%, because yes. he doesn't like money issues. He hands over, take. Mm -hmm. I then do the distribution, so savings yes. and all that. Yes. But now he started the business, mm -hmm. and he says he's building his capital. capital. So he doesn't put in the pot. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. this one is for capital. I'm, sa I'm yes. saving for capital. And I'm like, I, I still okay. need. Offsets. So before it was office, office, mm -hmm. where I was in, in charge, he didn't care. Mm -hmm. But now that he's building, capital for business mm -hmm. he feels that that money should be plowed Strictly back into business. the business mm -hmm. so it's not coming back into the pot now it's giving me that burden like ah what oh, am really? i going to, what the, when, when are you going to start putting back into the pot yeah, yeah. you explained it offset i think you should explain it again how when you run your business how to manage your finance no but i mean basically some people are running businesses they don't know they're not in business mm -hmm. you're going to business to make money mm -hmm. before you go into business you know how much profit you expect to make mm -hmm. but you Keep all your, fun, your funds together. As money is coming into your business, yeah. any check, that for small businesses, yeah. any check that comes in, take out your profit margin that you had planned. Yeah. Take it out, put it in a separate account. Okay. Yeah. What is remaining must uh, run the business, yeah. must operate, must pay salaries, must pay uh, restocking, Rent. whatever yeah. else it is. Yeah. If it's not enough, then you know your business is not cannot pay for itself. Yeah. That extra profit you took out, you must be able to share it with your wife mm. and enjoy some money for yourself. Mm. As a business mm. person, you cannot be successful if you don't pay yourself first, if all mm. your money is going back, back, into, back the into the business. The business. Mm. And let me go back to you and your husband must sit down and discuss and argue. I don't say fight. Mm -hmm. Discuss, argue, and agree mm. on how you're going to, what your financial mm. arrangement mm. is going to be now that your situation has changed. What you did agree today, two years from now, you have to sit down and negotiate mm. something else. Mm. Okay, my own question is, um, in the case of Tiwa Balogun and T Bills, where the man was the, um, it was, also, it was so, it was earning, she was earning, and then he got sacked. Um, what should she have done for their family finances? Mm -hmm. that, that she took a business decision that I'd rather end hundred percent of my money without anyone stealing from me. So she sacked her husband, but because she was the main um, earner for him, even as a business owner, he then had problems with his own business. So what should she have done? I'll add to that question. What could he have done? Also, mm, I'll add to that question. She mentioned in her video that she had to buy clothes for her husband. No, we'll come to that angle a bit no, later. No, no, as in she had to buy clothes. That, I mean, you know, so that means that probably there, was, uh, it, it, there wasn't a, an allowance for, for him, him or something. Please just... Mm, okay. So all, how should she have handled okay. it? All I will say is that 
husband wife matter nobody knows what's really going on <laughs> inside yeah. so mm. really we shouldn't be talking about who said she said what should mm. she have done what he could have done Thank we can't you. say that what we can say is that doing business with your husband with yeah. your, or your or your wife yeah. your spouse is not recommended yeah. if you do it your responsibilities must be distinctly separate yeah. i'm in charge of this and i have authority to make decisions about it yeah. you are in charge of that and i have authority to make decisions about that so that there is no clash yeah. and so that when you go home i can be a husband and wife and when we're at work we know that we're working that's number one number two they had a financial arrangement he was her agent mm -hmm. let's not get into what he did or didn't do mm -hmm. he was getting a percentage that 40. is in, that is enough for him to get a good separation of the income that mm -hmm. comes into the family mm -hmm. now that they have split their business arrangement it's mm -hmm. time for them to sit together mm -hmm. and for the man and the woman to be honest with each other and say look right now my business is not doing really well i'll need some support okay how much do yeah. you think you need and so on yeah. and so on forth basis. and come to an arrangement and but an agreement the and continue forward but for in order to have that conversation the man must be ready to be honest with himself and mm. with his wife mm. the woman must be ready to be honest with herself and with her husband mm. because our society teaches us to be suspicious of each other mm. yes. when it comes to knowing how much mm. yes. you earn yes. and stuff like that yes and, and and i've noticed a lot of people advise uh, uh, husband and wife very no, useless advice don't tell him how much you earn mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> that's the big worst thing you will do my save who eh? go and save your one that's i to me in the I, days I, of our parents God when there was polygamy he helped my mother uh, in the he days of our mother. parents when there was polygamy the advice was useful but not today when mm. two have become one i have savings but that he knows about but it's, it's savings open to the house mm -hmm. now in a different setting because we talk about when the, um they're both earning salary mm -hmm. how about when both are business women a businessman uh, into businesses mm -hmm. you both earn fluctuating amount of money mm. this month you earn 50 another month you might earn 500,000 mm. naira mm. another month you earn a million yes. how do you plan finances when your income is not, not steady. steady yes you plan it when for when the income comes and you do a budget of of your costs and it comes back to what you said about who you marry in the first place mm. you have to trust each other and know even if you don't love each other you like each other you want what is best for each other. Mm. You want your partner to be comfortable. Mm. So when I have, and I love you, and I like you, and I want the best for you, I will give you to make you comfortable. And when you have, you will give me to make myself Thank comfortable. You. Very true. Whenever Very money true. comes in, that is the time to plan for it. It doesn't matter whether it's coming regularly or not. Or not. Mm. When it comes in, there we should be a plan percentage. for it. And let me just go back to what you are saying about don't tell him how much you are earning. In those days, in traditional Egba and you know all this market society, mm. The woman owned her own money. Mm. The woman often owned her own house, the house, the family yeah, house. Yeah. The woman mm, owned yeah. it. Mm. The woman was responsible for looking after her own children mm. Mm. and sending them to school and so on. Mm. Mm. So, of course, in that sort of situation, why mm. would you be Telling disclosing mm. someone who is not, doesn't have those responsibilities mm. Mm. about your earnings? Mm. A lot of it comes from that. That okay. don't expose yourself when you have all these responsibilities mm. you have to meet. And his own responsibility is to himself. Each wife, mm. remember in polygamy, each yes. wife is looking after it's herself. Looking after so, yeah. so, so it brings us to the case of understanding your situation. Mm. So if you're in a polygamous situation, you know that you understand your finances. And if you're... Okay, let me come to the Marry who you like. Let Sorry, Murayo. Marry who you like, not who you love. Mm. No, she didn't, like. she didn't say that though. She didn't say that too. No, I'm, I'm saying my own. I'm saying my own. That own. Okay. Is, you will love the person, but well, you if must you like love that you don't like him, you will be like those two that are fighting. Let me ask a question. A lot of women right now are... Yes, they are, because I, I, I like to believe that a lot of women are going through this where they're earning more mm -hmm. and they're trying really hard to submit, to make, to submit and make their husbands comfortable. Mm -hmm. They do the whole, put money in his account, the whole thing, and they do it over a period, let's just say five years, for example, and mm -hmm. they've been consistent. Mm -hmm. Now, this same person, it is the, the mother, the, the in-laws know, the brothers know, the uncles know, maybe even the driver knows, like, well, there's no way I'm carrying a guy, the guy is always in the house. Mm -hmm. Everybody, so, Obviously, people will know that a guy is always in the house. Mm. How does the woman manage that kind of situation? Because I know you're not a psychologist, but mm -hmm. a lot of women are going through that. Yes. They, they try to be humble. They mm -hmm. do their best. Mm -hmm. But society, everybody around the man is making man, reminding the man that, listen, you know, now your wife, they bring the money. Yes. How do yes. you handle that kind of situation? I mean, that's a very tough one. It goes back to the arrangements between the two of you. That's the first thing. The second one is that, what exactly what she's saying marry somebody that you like because mm -hmm. when the man is the breadwinner
he too can flex yes. mm. and make you feel like as if you are nothing yeah. because he's giving you money. Yeah. And if you, the woman, are the breadwinner and you are paying all this, because, not because your husband is hard working, I can't make it, but because he's lazy, mm. it's very difficult for you not to get an attitude. Mm. Mm. You need to like the person and you need to have good advice around you that, my dear, yeah. you see now I'm noticing something, so your, your manner has changed though. I don't think it would be good for your children or for your marriage if you continue. Mm. Try to pipe down mm. a little bit. It's very natural that if you are paying all the bills and everybody is talking you up, mm. for you to start to flex. I mean, if you're and paying uh, all the bills and he's asking, ah, you haven't even asked if I'm eating today. And you're like, what? I'm the one who works hard. No, no, no. <laughs> I have a cook in the house. The cook will do the work. Oh, <laughs> ladies, 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 please, please, let's not go there. <laughs> because, because, again, I said, the arrangement in the house. Mm. Many men are cooking in the house. Mm. Many yeah. men are cleaning in the house. Yes. Yes. Nobody outside knows. knows. Okay. And the second thing is, in our society, if you are not looking after your home, you're not looking after your husband, you're not looking after your children, they don't care how big you are in a bank or you're not a woman. Mm. Mm. So you can't be, you haven't asked. You have to make sure, you, don't you make sure your children are eating? Bam. You have to make sure your husband is eating mm. God, we okay bless you. but again you will not know what is going on inside the house let's take a quick commercial let's a quick commercial when we come back we'll find out about why kids Welcome back. I have a post from a papa. Are you there? <laughs> Hello? Good morning. Hi. Good morning. I, I, honestly, I, I, I never knew it was, I thought it was a character. Welcome to the show, a post. <laughs> a post. A post. A post. Uh, um, I want to appreciate all you people who are doing to Nigeria. Thank, Thank you. you. We are enjoying your program. Thank you, I'll sir. Be fast. I'll be one of your fans. Thank oh. you. Thank but you. I, um, uh, yeah, yeah, me. Hey, what I need to uh, stand at you? Yes. Uh, here are these topics that came to you on Monday. It's, okay, uh, you have 30 seconds, so you don't agree to us too much. You. It's, a good, it's, a, it's a good program. Thank and you, I sir. have been referring this uh, to this topic. Mm. Right, I love thanks. what the woman has said, and uh, I believe today, and the man, I'm going to introduce that to my home. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your That's Great. the entire benefit Fantastic. of this. Fantastic. Yes, Let's take on to explain. Oh, uh, why can't tell us about your uncle? <laughs> oh, my uncle, I was just going to say, my uncle, his wife was working. He had to leave Nigeria to go and live, and he didn't, couldn't get a job in England. And he will call to how he's cooking. Hmm. He's cooking. In fact, he loves food, so he cooks. When you come in, you ask him, what do you want to eat? <laughs> I cooked pork today. Uh -oh. Or I cooked egusi. Uh -uh. Or I cooked... He will cook. He has no shame. <laughs> 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 okay, let's just come to it. <laughs> um, Chassis says, raise a new generation of men who don't see a woman's success as failure. Mm. Ugochi says, married couples should try their best to leave the society or in-laws out of their marriage if they want to move mm. forward. Mm -hmm. um, Sunny says, Abibat, saying in your view, bring out a research to convince me with facts. Um, Pearl says, well, you all can talk because the husband is sane and healthy. If he was on a wheelchair and sick, I wonder what your views hmm. will be. Let me take the call from Adewale and we'll talk about that. Adewale, are you there? Good morning, Morale. Good morning. Go ahead, please. <sighs> oh, why like it. Yes? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, oh. <laughs> Long time, my sister. Thank you. Oh, I think about the topic on the ground. I think let me go back to the to what I think. Mm. I think that guy is a lazy guy. Let's uh, let, uh, let, uh, let, let him know. He's very lazy. Mm. When you have a job before you are managing someone else, and you are fired, go back to that job. What happens to him is a lesson for every young man outside there. Because what is happening now? Most of women now are gay. They are the breadwinner of their family. Mm -hmm. But some men see it as an opportunity for them. As they have the right to feed them. But the man has the right to feed the family. He has to help each other. 
about what the lady Joy said from the community ago. He said a mother-in-law. All right. The family. Thank you I very much. To ask the woman and mm. the man to marry the work together. That's what the people should learn how to be together in marriage. Fantastic. Marry. Thank Why you, everybody. I want, I want to yes, handicap story. Let me just butcher it with two more. Um, Joe Kwanjo says, "Let's stop the ego thing. Why will you be buying clothes for your husband instead of giving him the money?" Last one, Omolaja says, "Mrs. Balogun, book it down to communication and planning. Love can fade when finances are scarce and there's no cooperation." Let me, mm -hmm. let me, let me, let me honestly to weave that in because I want we're talking about the women. Mm -hmm. Let's. I want you to address young men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who are getting into marriage yes. and maybe how to plan their finances maybe they're they're looking for the rich girl or whatever i mean they marry somebody that is doing yeah. well. you have to have prospects yeah. yeah you want to marry the girl that is doing yeah. well you have, yeah. to now, have money how can they as a young man put how, manage their egos okay yeah. my wife is earning more than i am mm -hmm. and how can they manage the finances of their family as they go into marriage yeah. well i mean I, i'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of young men and this is a, an object lesson for all of them they go looking for the child of a rich man or a rich woman, mm. thinking that w the way the parent is looking after their child when the child is inside the house is where the parent is going to continue to look after their child when the child is inside somebody else's house. Mm. And that's just not the fact. Mm. Also, the fact that you have money today, something can happen and it's you have no money tomorrow. And then two of you have to very sit true. down and decide what are we going to do. Mm. So make sure you are marrying a partner. Mm. Thank you. Make sure you are marrying Thank a partner. You. And I want to go back to what you have said. No matter love, 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 you must like that person mm -hmm. because when li love fades passion goes down and before it mm -hmm. comes up again it's that like and that respect yes. that is going to sustain both of you that's yes. the first thing second Absolutely. thing is many of them are not thinking about financial future at all mm. they're, thinking ab denied. they're thinking about what they want to what car they want to drive mm -hmm. what clothes they want to wear mm -hmm. and so on they're not thinking about how am I going to make sure I earn that money in a sustainable manner mm -hmm. and I can meet responsibilities mm -hmm. until they get to that point mm -hmm. and they start looking around for it Mm. You have to be hardworking. Mm. You have to be ambitious. Mm -hmm. You have to be self-reliant. No, yes. but in this Nigeria today, even if people are helping you yesterday, today yeah. Yeah. there has been a change. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to be able to help yourself. So yes. you need Can to I plan. Yes. You need to be ambitious and be hardworking. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Listen, nice. please. Take some treats. Abiyoye Bisayo says, Has, um, hashtag woman that is feeding the family should be grateful that she should have some something bringing income. She should not disrespect. Billy Kusu says, there are roles a man can still play despite him not having the breadwinner and will still earn him respect. M.M. Adiola says, where, where the man doesn't disclose his income, hires to do things and no upkeep mm. for a wife and child, what's the way out? That's true. Mm. Okay, okay, so my take too, Cherry says, let every woman ask for God's strength in marriage because it's a lifetime um, journey. Mike says, nice topic. Managing family finance is very important. Mm. Time now, Monio. Mm. Mm. Yes, Topo. Um, I, I know that I, I, we try to downplay spirituality, but as much as we have the facts on how to do it, there's some things that you need to get spiritual about. So yeah. even as you're planning, you should okay. pray. Let me give yes. a final word. Have you got No, the final word, which was to answer the question you said about a young man, mm. your woman is earning more than you. How can you cope with it? You know who you are. You know your worth. Mm. You know how you attracted her mm. to you. Have that self-confidence in yourself. Self-confidence. Okay? Money is not anything in itself. It's how you manage your money, what you do with your money. And you are a couple now. They said well, you are both two, two before. Two. You have become mm. one. Sit mm. down with her in all humility mm. and discuss, my dear, how are we going to manage our future together so we can live the sort of beautiful life we mm. want for ourselves and for mm. our children, by God's grace. Oh, <laughs> oh. Well Thank you. I don't think I can, I can add anything to that. Yeah, no, no, no. We, got, we got to bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty, plenty, my darling, financial issues we need to address. We need to bring you back. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, we had a great time. I have great. to go and watch repeat too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we can take on the show today. I hope you had a lovely time as we did. Have a lovely day and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.